Welcome to another video. In this video, we'll create histogram using the statistics chart that's been added to Excel 365. For this video, I prepared the data that we'll be using. So I'm just going to highlight this. Creating histogram is similar to creating any chart in Excel right now. Just first highlight the data that you have and we're going to go to insert and you will see in the middle here it says insert statistics chart so if you click on the arrow you will see that there are two charts that's available now for stats the box plot and the histogram clicking on histogram you will get the chart as you can see here there is no gaps between the bars. Excel automatically select the bins. You don't have to go through analysis tool pack to do all of that. However, Excel automatically chooses the bin width and the number of bins. So we're going to choose that. Plus, anything that you can do is a bar graph or a pie graph, changing the bars color or individual bar color, you can do that. Uh, our main concern here is to go and change the number of bins or the bin width. So we're going to right click on the horizontal axis and we're going to say format axis. Now you can see here that the axis option for the bins are automatically chosen by Excel. You can have here two things. Either you can choose the bin width or you can choose the number of pins. So if we choose the number of pins, let's say five, you will see that now Excel will have five pins. And it automatically detects this the lowest, which is 20, the highest, which is 40, and divide them over five pins. That's why each pin is 20, 24, 24, and 28, and so on. If you want to go to the bin widths, we can say, well, let's keep the bin widths 5. So I want to go 20 to 25, 25 to 30, 30 to 35, and 35 to 40. And you can see that now we have four bins because we specified the number of bins. Okay. Other than that, the rest is the same as what we did with any bar or pie chart. You can change the color of individual bars. You can change the title. You can insert any features that we discussed in other videos when we did histogram, pie chart, bar chart, or column chart. So to repeat, simple as select your region, go to insert, choose histogram then right click on the horizontal axis go to format axis and you can either choose the bin width or the number of pins that you want or you can choose automatic if you want to keep it automatic or you can choose by category this is if the categories are not numbers if the these are not numbers uh, excel will group the values by category let's say we have frequency table of colors favorite colors then you can do it that way trip marks numbers all of this are similar to other charts that we discussed before so this is how simple it is right now to do a histogram in excel you don't have to go through specifying the bins and going to a Data analysis tool pack to do that anymore. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to look for more videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.